All right, what do you do when you have a few extra peppers that you aren't gonna eat fresh, but not enough to can them and fire up the pressure canner? So this is what I do, and it makes a delicious snack and topping for all sorts of stuff. Uh, some people call it cowboy candy, um, candied peppers, candied jalapenos. Uh, you can use any type of pepper in this. Uh, the spicy peppers work amazingly well. And these are just a little kind of ornamental Thai pepper that I picked up. They are very, very mild. And I'm going to add those in to balance off the heat of the super spicy jalapenos that I have to put in this. So I have a couple extra dozen jalapenos and then this whole little um, bush full of peppers to go into this. Uh, it's only going to fill a couple pint jars, but um, so not enough to fire up the pressure canner. A perfect amount for cowboy candy. So we're going to cut up our jalapenos and we'll just cut the tops off of those little other peppers. We're going to add them directly into clean jars. Uh, this is also a great recipe to reuse jars. So if you save like old um, glass pasta jars with a screw top lid or any jars like that. Since we won't be pressure canning these, um, they are perfect. I just happen to have a ton of pint jars um, and quite quart jars. So we're just going to use these. It'll fill too nicely, one to give away and one to keep. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill it directly into the jar as my way to measure how many to cut up. I'm going to do two jars of this and we'll just add our ingredients directly to the jar. Um, I like to add one large clove of crushed garlic to each small jar. Um, you can add more or less or leave it out if you're not a fan of garlic. I love garlic. Uh, here's some turmeric that I uh, dug up fresh today from my garden. Another super easy, amazing plant to grow. So for this, you'll need apple cider vinegar and sugar. Uh, we're going to cook these two together in a ratio of one part apple cider vinegar and three parts sugar. So one cup of apple cider vinegar and three cups of sugar were perfect for these two small jars. Uh, you, it's super quick to heat up. You're just going to dissolve the sugar in the apple cider vinegar over medium high heat. Um, make sure you watch it so it doesn't boil over. And I'm just gonna stir it and keep it stirred until that sugar is completely dissolved. Um, and then we're ready to pour over our jars. So we're not quite there yet. It's still kind of a milky consistency. So here we go. We're just gonna fill directly on top of our jalapeno mixture with the hot liquid. We don't even have to be super careful with the height of these since we are not pressure canning them. We can overfill them a little if we'd like. So no big deal. Look how pretty that looks. It is super tasty. You can put it on anything. It's great on uh, smoked cream cheese. And you can dip it with crackers. It's spicy. It's sweet. Uh, my kids even like it. You can see that um, garlic in there. But my kids like spicy stuff. So I get that all done. And so I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge overnight and it'll be ready to go in the morning. The longer it sits, the better it gets. And it lasts for about three months in the fridge.